Hello, Taurus. How are you? Welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. If you're new here, I hope you like and subscribe. This is going to be a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Taurus in your chart, it could resonate. Um, I hope you subscribe if you're new. If you're turning, thanks for coming back. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great summer, great Leo season. Um, I hope you're checking out the other signs in your chart, Taurus, because you could find a message that resonates for you even more so than this one, and you'd be helping my YouTube baby grow as I try to get up to a thousand subscribers and be at the next level of YouTube so I can do more with the, um, with viewers through the videos. Um, in the meantime, your support is graciously accepted and appreciated at my Cash App and Venmo in the description box. It goes such a long way, Taurus, and I'm very, very thankful for you, and I'm thankful that you're here. Taurus, I actually was preparing for your reading um, a couple days ago, and I had a pre-message a couple days ago that um, it, <coughs> I'm just going to go with it because... I do think there's something here and I think maybe um, the fact that I had this pre-message a couple days ago and I'm, I'm coming back to it today and I'm thinking like, oh yeah, I, could, I can feel this resonating leads me to think like maybe it's something that you keep going back and thinking about or like something that keeps being brought up in your mind but you're trying not to think about it maybe. But I'd gotten a few days ago that like the quote you didn't think someone didn't think this would happen and it um, could be a breakup an ending of some sort or it could be um, returning somewhere or to something like a job or an old vacation spot a gym routine I even thought it could be returning to someone you didn't think this would happen or I lastly got, it could be someone, re something being revealed, like a secret is revealed or like, like the tower card is really sticking in my mind right now. Like something could kind of just be a shock to you. Um, someone leaving a job, you didn't think this would happen. Um... It doesn't necessarily have to be a shocking tower moment, but I am thinking of the tower. I'm also just thinking it's just something, I wrote this too, something coming full circle. And this would be like, you're returning to um, the vacation spot where your firstborn was conceived. You know what I mean? Or you're returning to the spot where you and your person had your first date or you're returning to the gym that you used to go to years ago where you lost um, a lot of mental strife as well as increasing your physical abilities. Um, I'm, I'm trying not to focus on weight if you could tell that that's what I was avoiding, but it's about um, co something coming full circle. Um, where it comes to like a secret or something being revealed, it could be so much that like, it's an aha moment and understanding, uh, like something making sense, something coming out and you're like, this makes everything else make sense. And it's like the whole situation comes full circle, so to speak. Um, All right, Taurus, I hope you're happy, healthy, and well. If you have no idea what the other signs in your chart means, if you look at my Minutes with Meg um, collection, there's a video about looking up your birth chart and finding the other signs in your chart so you can go check out the other signs. Um, Maybe you're returning to like an old thought. Like I'm, 
I'm returning to this and this was something I got channeled a couple days ago and I'm returning to it and it's like heavily in my head. I'm going to stop here because these cards are like weird in my fingers. Um, I'm about to cover up only friends. All right, we're starting this at 520, Taurus. Getting good at getting these readings <laughs> down. I feel so lucky with you. Perception is your reality. All right, Taurus, this is, you could be someone who's Irish or someone with, uh, something about Irish could have something to do to, do to you, mean something to you, because <coughs> that's what those colors are speaking of. Lust attraction. Carrie Bradshaw energy from Sex and the City. It's not you. Someone had been perceiving something. Um, oh, wow. Lori Harvey energy. All right, Taurus. So you could definitely, like, this could be something same sex. Um, could be friendship, doesn't have to be love, could be sibling. Um, I'm also getting some sort of like a transforma transformative energy. The tower is, Scor and I've already mentioned um, the tower. The tower is Scorpio energy and transformative energy in the, in, the, ooh, in the deck is the death card, which is Scorpio. All right, let me, uh, let me just explain this. Oh man, someone goes through this major realization. I don't know if this is like an aha epiphany moment. This could be the secret revealed. You didn't think this would happen. Something comes full circuit, circle. And what someone understands is that it is not them who is um, being deceived or... I'm getting um, someone being like gaslit, someone being confused. This doesn't have to be in love. This could be at work. This could be in a friendship. This could be in a um, work situation. But someone was this nervous energy of like worrying and um, anxious. That's Carrie Bradshaw. She was worried. She was anxious. Like, oh no, what? What about this and should I do that and how can I prove this and like le leading almost in some episodes this fake life that she couldn't afford because she wanted to impress certain people. Now I'm not saying this is you Taurus, this could be someone around you or however it resonates. I feel like Carrie Bradshaw was in this, this Carrie Bradshaw energy is male or female, someone who is has their perception, their view of reality skewed. Like they are having it skewed. Someone is skewing this per Carrie Bradshaw's sense of reality. She's confused um, with something or someone. Didn't we already say only friends? Okay, bottom of the deck is well-mannered and polite. I can only ever squeeze you in, and that's all I want from this. Superficial and pretentious. I can't do this anymore. Eternal bachelor, only friends, question mark. All right, so what I think is someone is dealing with a personality, an energy here, who wants people to view them in a certain light and wants an... Um, this is someone who cares a lot about their personal, um, their reputation. This is someone who wants to control <clears throat> the situation. Um, wow, Taurus, this message really needed to come out because I have like so many ideas coming out here. I feel like some at some point this person who's been nervous trying to. Um, make themselves appeal a certain way or 
um, come across as um, bigger and, and having more than they are and more stable than they are. Like think about the episodes where Carrie like got Miranda to sneak into the church that Big goes to just because she wanted to see Big's mother. Like she, if she didn't get caught, that's kind of really stalkerish and creepy to do if you think about it. Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> but there was this perception of him not taking her seriously or like there's this person's view of reality that is just skewed or they skew someone else's sense of reality. And then this energy that has been confused and insecure and trying so hard finally realizes it's not me, it's you. It's you who's skewing things. It's you who's manipulating me. And then this person steps into this dominant, I'm getting feminine energy, but it doesn't have to be. Lori Harvey, the energy that I mean by this, it's a person who moves with intentions. They, they date, they see people. I've read that she requires men to sign a uh, non-disclosure agreement before she even considers talking to them. Um, she's a um, daughter of Steve Harvey. Like if that woman writes a book, that's a book I wanna read. Because she's even, she's spoken about how she had older brothers she would see how her older brothers treated women. She would listen to her father. She also had been in a long-term relationship, almost, I think, practically married, and decided to end that relationship, and then going forward said she was going to act in relationships how she watched her brothers act. And that was, it seems to be like almost treating it like a business. Very private, mysterious, a message is for somebody. I also get that this could be a couple, like someone is the funky, kind of quirky, insecure, anxiety, um, smoker, <laughs> like Carrie is. And then there's this other energy that's mysterious, that's business-like, that is dominant, that is um, classy, well-mannered, polite, could be a little pretentious, like, wow, really interesting. Please let me know, Taurus, how it resonates, if it does resonate. Thank you so much for being here. I just saw you. It was the Hierophant. I just saw you. Maybe someone has said that to you. They saw you from afar. I just saw you. I feel like I just saw you. The devil reverse Capricorn energy. And the Hierophant reverse. A lot of earth energy here. So Taurus energy, Capricorn energy. Ooh, nine of swords reversed, two of pentacles, eight of swords reversed, six of cups, eight of cups. I feel like you can't, someone like can't make up their mind about something. Um, I feel like there's a disconnection or a separation. Maybe I maybe this is where you didn't think this would happen. Ending breakup. I also am getting a feeling here of someone's like toxic waves or codependent behavior or um This could be that person who's cre who's created this energy where someone is feeling confused and manipulated and not sure and when they d realize like oh my god it's not me it's them that's been creating this 
whirlwind of confusion around me. It's like there's no longer a connection here. You no longer respect this person. You no longer see them with the authority or the like commitment that you once had. Um, that's a message for somebody. There's something there about time because I just keep thinking about like from Capricorn season, which is essentially the, the winter solstice. So December 20th to the 21st, or if you just consider it the holiday season, from the holiday season, Taurus energy goes to May 20th to the 21st. I'm like, that's six months. That's like half a year. Maybe something has taken a long time. It's felt like it's been half a year since um, you saw someone or were where. While something comes full circle, it's taken like a year or half a year. Five of swords reversed. The sun is at the bottom of the deck, Leo energy. This could be like a friendship separation. This could be like um, a sabbatical from work just like came into my mind like or a leave like maybe someone went on like a maternity leave or um, maybe someone was chosen for a jury and was like away and out for a while. That just popped into my head. Um, Ace of Cups. This is giving me this, and this is, oh God, and we're back to the sun, the Leo at card. Ten of Wands, reversed, the Hanged Man, Pisces energy reversed, Page of Pentacles reversed. All right, there's something here of like, It, it, uh, this could be a reconciliation could be um this is where you like you didn't think that this would happen this could be a renewal of vows this could be um a change of lifestyle that um nine of wands the hermit i got so much earth energy right there taurus I literally have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus right here, the earth signs. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Six of Wands reversed. The Tower, and I wrote down Tower earlier. King of... I get the feeling of like, um... It's almost like someone realizes they're working too hard or they're putting too much into unhealthy toxic coping mechanisms like it could be um like someone's spending habits specifically there's something here about fitness And just working on the health, getting healthier. Someone has been researching too, like healthier, maybe it's like coping mechanisms, co healthier, um, This is like someone with anxiety I'm getting to. Like someone with like, it could be like their unhealthy habits are creating this anxiety. And like there's this need to work out or ground themselves. And working out could be going for a walk at dusk or a walk in the morning for you. Doing some jumping jacks every day. Like 
I love the quote, 30 minutes of something is better than nothing. If I can get my ass to do 30 minutes of something, even if it's busting my hum doing housework, that's physical energy because some days are better than other days for everybody. <clears throat> I also get this feeling of like a renewal, <laughs> a renewal in love. Knight of Pentacles came out like re reversed. Why is it in reverse? Ace of Swords reversed. Strength reversed. Um, Leo energy. High Priestess. There's so much Leo in this reading. I'm seeing the Sun card again. Nine of Pentacles reversed. The High Priestess. Pisces energy. Maybe someone's like trying to work up the ability or like working on themselves to be able to give this offer because I, I get the feeling of like, I was going to say someone thinking about um, reconnecting with someone, re, um, nine of swords i'm thinking about regret too like um eight of pentacles it's almost like regretting giving someone an offer or re regretting um Nine of Cups reversed. Temperance reverse. Sag energy. Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra. Aquarius. Ace of Wands. And then the King of Swords, Robert. All right, so there's something here, a pattern of these cards that is talking to me about like not communicating with someone and like almost regretting that you haven't communicated with them or that you um, are going to have to communicate with them. It's almost like someone does not want to make something work. Someone does not want to work on something. Someone would rather just like, oh, I feel like, I just get a heavy foreboding feeling of like, oh God, I'm gonna have to go work on this and act nice and <clears throat> or maybe it's like you're regretting things that weren't said that I get someone like having these thoughts, things that they wish they could say, things that are keeping them awake at night, but then they go to work and they act like everything is fine and they're very stubborn, not saying what needs to be said. And one of the, like, or it's an apology, like wanting to give an apology or needing to give an apology. Ace of Wands. King of Wands reversed. The Empress, Three of Cups, Ace of Swords reversed, the Star reversed, Queen of Swords reversed. Um,
Taurus, I keep getting this feeling of you didn't think you'd, you'd talk to this person or have to talk to this person or give an offer. Gemini, Aries, energy is here um, with the magician. The hanged man came out. That's Pisces energy and the seven of swords. I keep, I have this stubborn energy here. Someone's like, I'll be damned if I'm the person that reaches out first. Like, I'm gonna, I'll be right here. The world reverse, but something is not over or something, uh, someone does not want it to be over. But they're not saying what they're thinking. Ten of swords, eight of swords, ten of swords, five of, all right. Five of Pentacles reverse, five of... Why do I feel like this is like a reconciliation and someone's being like super stubborn and it's like, I'm not going to make that first move. Like, I'll be damned if I am the first one to like reach out and make this right. Even though they like really care about this connection, want to see this work, would like to see an amicable reunion and everything work out for everybody. Like they don't want it to be unhealthy and they don't want it to not be good. They want it to work. But they are just like all the things that they would want to say and are saying and it's going to end up biting them in the past because we should be communicating. They're holding on to it. It's almost like someone's waiting for the outreach to come to them. This is part of this stubbornness, even though there's a desire for a recon reconnection, recommunication with this person, um, Taurus. Let me know in the comments how it resonates. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with a friend. Don't forget to check out the other signs in your chart. You're helping out my channel. You're getting me up to the next level of YouTube. My Cash App and Venmo are in the description box. Thank you so much for your support, Taurus. I hope you have a great Leo season, and I will talk to you soon.